Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're your complete and trusted Toyota resource. Today we've got an expert. So let's do Ask the Toyota Expert. Ali's been with Toyota for 35 years, been with Fred Anderson Toyota for 25 years, and for the majority of that time, he's been working on hybrids. So we've got some questions. People wanna know about the different kinds of hybrid batteries. Ali, you got it in you to answer? Yes, we have been asked to tell the difference between nickel metal hydride battery and lithium ion battery. The most important difference between the two is obviously the chemistry. Nickel metal hydride battery has nickel metal hydride battery on one pole and has other metals on the other pole. Among them is titanium. And it's kind of slower to charge. It has less power per weight and it's slower to charge, slower to discharge. So it takes a longer amount of time to charge the battery. Lithium ion, on the other hand, is fast to charge, fast to discharge, and use lithium ion on one pole and has carbon pile on the other pole. I think it's mostly made from graphite. Because lithium ion is lighter and the car has to overcome its inertia when you're trying to accelerate from zero and it's all electric, the lithium ion propels the vehicle and it can discharge faster, supply more power. And in a hybrid vehicle, it's so important to be light. And lithium ion batteries have a lot more energy per weight. It's probably the future of all of our hybrid vehicles. Uh, lithium ion lasts about as long, maybe a little bit longer than nickel metal hydride battery. However, in extreme heat, nickel metal hydride batteries can deteriorate faster and the minds to be are working on it to fix that. And how long would you say a Toyota hybrid battery can generally last in general terms? They last close to 200,000 miles. I've seen them gone further. Uh, usually it's 15 years, 20 years before they need it. Uh, we've been replacing some of the super older cars that were first introduced just now. Okay, and what about fuel mileage? Uh, MPG, if somebody is wondering which one gives me better gas mileage, is that really an important factor or not really? It is because lith uh, lithium uh, ion batteries are lighter. They, it costs less to drive the vehicle. It gives you better mileage. Okay, that makes sense. The question was what is available in different Toyotas. In most of our cases, the Prius has nickel metal hydride battery. If it's a four-wheel drive Prius, it's going to have lithium ions, so you can have a combination of nickel metal, or you can have lithium battery, depending on what great Prius you will get. Venza has lithium ion battery in it, and as time goes by, Toyota's going to lithium ion battery for most of his vehicles. Ali, where would you traditionally find a hybrid battery pack, and then what about the sizing of them? Generally, they are about Four, four and a half feet wide. They're about a foot and a half, two feet. And uh, they're about a foot tall. Uh, as a general rule, they stay in the trunk. They can be under the second uh, back seat. And uh, one thing that we've been seeing is uh, that these batteries need to be cooled. And they all have a vent that feeds them cold air from inside of the car. In this particular car, it is under the seat. In some of the Priuses, it is in the luggage portion behind the seat back. And you should check your owner's manual to know where yours is. And the owner's manual says not to put anything in front of it because that duct is put there to cool the hybrid battery. So the, one of the most important thing as an owner you can do is to find out where the duct for cooling the uh, hybrid battery is and not to cover it up. So on road trips, you want to make sure it's free from stuffed animals. Teddy bears, yes. Or blankets or pillows. Yes, absolutely. To give you an idea at the end, we're going to just point out the components that you should probably know. From here, it's a coolant reservoir, washer jug, the gasoline engine. If you decide to do your own service, the engine air filter sits in this box. It's almost small as a lawnmower 
air filter. This is the inverter converter. You should never have to do anything with it. That is the reservoir for coolant for the inverter. It's separate from the engine. When you service them, you should do both. 12 volt battery. That's the computer that decides all that happens in this vehicle. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Ali, you're an excellent resource and we're so glad to have you here answering questions. If you guys have any repair or maintenance questions about whether it's hybrid or maybe another popular Toyota model that you think other people might have questions on too, leave a comment. We'd love to know what you'd like Ali to answer next. So please follow us on Instagram at Fred Anderson Toyota. Also follow us at Fred Anderson Toyota on Facebook. You can check out our inventory at fredandersontoyota.com. I think that about covers it, except for we certainly want you to give the video a like if you felt it was appropriate, subscribe, and the notification bell. We got a big series coming up, Ask the Toyota Expert, so we want your input. Ali, it's been fun. Uh, boy, you are so smart about these Toyotas. Thank, Thank you, you so much, it's been great. Thank you, you're welcome. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.